एग्जामिनेशन ऑफ ईयर ईयर एग्जामिनेशन में सबसे पहले आपने एज यूजल पोजिशन ऑफ द पेशेंट एट आर्म्स लेंथ और उसके बाद फोकसिंग ऑफ द लाइट और उसके बाद आपने इंट्रोडक्शन और कॉन्सेंट फ्रॉम द पेशेंट वो एज यूजल आपने करना है उसके बाद आपने पोजिशन ये बनानी है कि जिस साइड पे जौन सा आपने ईयर एग्जामिनेशन करना है तो मरीज़ को पूरा टर्न करना है यानी आपने राइट right साइड करनी है तो मरीज़ को इस तरह टर्न करें कि उसकी साइड आपकी तरफ हो सिर्फ गर्दन टर्न नहीं करनी और दूसरी साइड पे करना है तो मरीज़ को पूरा दूसरी तरफ टर्न करें ताकि फिर आप ईयर एग्जामिन कर सकें ये पोजीशन बनाने के बाद आप लाइट फोकस करेंगे और सबसे पहले पिन्ना एग्जामिनेशन करेंगे पिन्ना की इंस्पेक्शन करेंगे और पेलपेशन करेंगे उसके बाद पिन्ना को फॉरवर्ड रिफ्लेक्ट करेंगे लाइट फोकस करेंगे और पोस्ट औरल एरिया की आप इंस्पेक्शन करेंगे और पेलपेशन करेंगे उसके बाद आप पिन्ना को उसके अपर पार्ट से होल्ड करेंगे और अपवर्ड्स बैकवर्ड्स एंड आउटवर्ड्स पुल करेंगे इस मनूवर से एक्सटर्नल ऑडिटरी कैनाल स्ट्रेटन हो जाता है साथ ही आप दूसरे हाथ से ट्रेगस को थोड़ा सा फॉरवर्ड रिफ्लेक्ट कर सकते हैं ऐसा करने से आपको आउटर पार्ट ऑफ द एक्सटर्नल ऑडिटरी मेटस यानी कार्टिलेजनस पार्ट ऑफ एक्सटर्नल ऑडिटरी मेटस नज़र आ जाएगा उसके बाद फिर आप ईयर स्पेकुलम लेंगे और ईयर स्पेकुलम लार्जेस्ट साइज जो कि उसमें कंफर्टेबली डाला जा सके वो यूज़ करेंगे और उसको सिर्फ आउटर वन थर्ड तक ही इंट्रोड्यूस करना है क्योंकि उससे आगे लेके जाएंगे तो पेशेंट को तकलीफ होगी तो उसके बाद आप इनर टू थर्ड ऑफ दी एक्सटर्नल आर्टी मेटस देखेंगे और साथ ही उसके बाद टिम्पेनिक मेम्ब्रेन देखेंगे टिम्पेनिक मेम्ब्रेन के बाद देखने के साथ ही आप वेलसलवा करवाएंगे और सॉलोइंग मूवमेंट्स विद क्लोज नोज एंड ओरल और माउथ उससे उस और टिम्पेनिक मेम्ब्रेन की आउटवर्ड और इनवर्ड मूवमेंट्स होगी उसके बाद फिर आप पेशेंट के हीरिंग टेस्ट करेंगे और उसके बाद फिर आप उसके बैलेंस टेस्ट करेंगे जिसमें रोम रोमबर्ग्स टेस्ट है और वॉक अलॉन्ग लाइन विद आईज क्लोज है हीरिंग टेस्ट में जैसे कि पहले भी आपको बताया है कि उसमें रिनी वेबर और ए टेस्ट होते हैं वो करेंगे उसके बाद क्रेनियल नर्व एग्जामिनेशन स्पेशली फेशियल नर्व आप करेंगे सेरिबेलर फंक्शन अगर उसको कोई वर्टाइगो के कंप्लेंट्स है तो वो भी आप करेंगे पास पॉइंटिंग इंटेंशन ट्रेमर और डिसडाइडो को कहीं नहीं लिया आप करेंगे और लास्ट बट नॉट द लीस्ट आप सर्वाइकल लिम्फ्लोर एग्जामिनेशन करेंगे Let's start the examination of the ear, and today Dr. Jamila will demonstrate us how to examine the ear. First of all, wearing of headlight, focusing it and adjusting it. Wearing the mask, sanitizing the hands, then taking a consent. then proper distance and proper position when you examine the ear you should have you should be at a distance of arm's length and you should be uh, you should turn the patient to one side not just the neck you have to turn the patient whole on one side and then focus the light on the ear then you start the examination first step is <coughs> examination of pinna is inspection and palpation then turn the pinna forwards and you will see the post oral area or mastoid area again do the inspection and palpation and see towards the face whether there is any tenderness or not you have to hold the pinna at its upper part and pull it upwards backwards and outwards this will straighten out the external artery canal and you should use the other hand to pull the tragus anteriorly this will open up the external artery canal and you will see the outer one third or cartilaginous part of the external uh, of the external auditory meatus now you have to choose a proper size speculum and this speculum should be large enough 
so that it can be easily introduced but it should not be very small because if you use small then the light which will pass will very little use it on the hand which ear is being examined that is if the right ear of the patient is examined right in this ear speculum should be on in your right hand and hold the pinna again from its upper part and pull it upwards backwards and outwards then you will see the inner two third or bony part of the external artimeters and also you will see the tympanic membrane now the instructions are given to the patient for proper wall salva so that you have to see the movements of the tympanic membrane well salva and then by closing the nose and the mouth and doing the swallowing movement will move the tympanic membrane in now the other side is also examined like that inspection of the pinna and palpation post oral area inspection palpation external artery canal outer one third inner two third and the examination of tympanic membrane the movements of tympanic membrane wall salva and swallowing now the fistula test is being performed the stagmas is seen and patient is asked if there is any uh, vertiginous attack or not uh, if the patient is feeling any uh, dizzy or not now the tuning fork test for the hearing the rini test the weber test and the abc test you have to hold it in such a way that you sh should not touch the prongs you have to hold the tuning fork from the stem and keep in such a way when you are doing an uh, air conduction that the way raise the the sound wave should directly going into the ear strike the tuning fork properly and compare the air conduction with the bone conduction for rini which sound is better anterior sound is better uh, sound and air conduction is better so air conduction is better than bone conduction rini is positive the procedure is repeated on the other side rini is again positive then the weber test is done the tuning fork is stuck and placed in the mid line of skull and patient is asked on which side he is hearing better right side left side or in the middle and the weber will be properly labeled as weber is central weber is lateralized to right ear weber is lateralized to left ear then the abc test is performed the tragus is pressed inward and the tunic fork is placed on the mastoid and patient is asked to indicate when the sound is completely abolished when the sound is completely abolished then the tunic fork is shifted to the examiner's mastoid and the tragus is again pressed either the examiner will hear the sound or will not hear the sound if he hear the sound then abc is reduced on patient if he doesn't hear then abc is equal the procedure is repeated on the other side patient is asked to indicate when the sound is completely abolished now the facial nerve examination each part of the facial nerve is examined the upper part making wrinkles close forcibly closing the eyes and try to open it out filling the mouth with air and showing the teeth so each part of the facial nerve is examined then the vestibular test now first the romberg's test patient is asked to stand up upright and patient is asked to close of the eyes and it is seen whether it sways to one side or not the romberg is negative 
now the patient is asked to move in straight line with eyes open then the patient is asked to move with eyes closed so walk test walk along line with eyes closed so these are the vestibular function test and you can add the cerebellar function test such as intention tremor such as dyscardiokinesia because the cerebellum is closely related to the ear uh, vestibular system as well finger nose test and last part of the examination of the ear will always be cervical lymph node examination to examine the cervical lymph node you have to go behind the patient and palpate with the palm palm of your hands first examine the submental lymph nodes then submandibular lymph nodes then prefacial post facial lymph nodes anterior uh, pre auricular and post auricular and then occipital lymph nodes then you have to examine the cervical uh, cervical chain this is around the sternocleidomastoid flex the sternocleidomastoid and start examining by palpating around the sternocleidomastoid you have to examine the upper deep cervical middle deep cervical lower deep cervical and then the supraclavicular lymph nodes then the trapezial lymph nodes are examined which are along the trapezius muscle and the procedure is repeated on the other side then you examine the prelaryngeal prelaryngeal pretracheal and paratracheal lymph nodes this cervical no lymph node examination is part and parcel of each of nose throat ear and larynx examination thank you very much